Hey guys, a request recently came in from Trombone AI asking what happens if you put white paint or white tape inside of your garage. If you make lines, will the car park itself inside of your garage? By the way, anybody is welcome to ask questions at any time. If you want to see something or have me test something out, let me know. Within reason, of course, I'm not going to throw a child in front of my car. <laughs> I always park coming into my garage going forward, but what I did recently find out is that if you are going in reverse, it will detect lines. So I'm not sure if this is going to work here in my driveway or in my garage rather, but we are going to find out here together. And bear in mind, this is a 2019 Model 3 with the ultrasonic sensors. It does use some vision assist, and I'm told by Ashok that this is going to be released in the future where we will have the older cars with the ultrasonic sensors in Hardware 3 will have the park assist features with the high, high fidelity camera view. And that gives you the surround vision, which is pretty nice. Now my car has had the auto park features ever since I got it. And I know all of these people that have purchased vehicles after me have been promised this uh, the auto park features. And finally with version 12, I can't remember exactly which version, they did get this capability. So I'm going to put these in my garage. I'm going to basically this is like white masking tape. I'm going to put strips in my garage and see if my car can detect it and then back itself in to a, a space here. Okay, so I'm going to put my car into reverse and I'm going to see if it can find those lines in my garage. Let's test this out. This is the true test. Here we go, backing up. Let's see if it can see the lines. What will, what will happen is it will show up here on the screen as a parking space. Let's see what happens here. I'm not seeing any lines yet here. <laughs> I see them in my uh, mirror or I see them in the, in the camera, but they're not showing up on the screen to allow the auto park. So let's back up here a little bit, see if we can get them to show up. Okay, so I'm going into my garage at the moment and they're still not showing up. So let's go back, we'll, we'll try it a couple times, go in reverse, hopefully it will show up at some point. Come on, they're there, <laughs> the lines are there. Uh, it's not showing up. So you can hear the, that beeping sound, that is the ultrasonic sensors that, that it's detecting the edge of my garage there. And it's giving me that audible alert that I'm 26 inches away. And as I go back, this is not in the newer cars. You're not gonna have these sounds. And then it says stop because it's, it thinks that I'm, I'm gonna crash into something where as I'm not, you can see I'm close to the garage, but I'm not in a position to crash into anything. So sometimes it false triggers there and says stop when it doesn't really need to. It is having a hard time seeing those spaces. So let's try it a couple more times. Still not registering those lines. Let's come over here this way. Sometimes if you're a little bit perpendicular, it can find them. Come on, see them. It's not really not finding them, them all, at all. Let's try coming at it from another angle here. In a normal parking lot, these would show up just fine and you would be able to back into the space and auto park the car. I'm just going to speed it up here. I kept trying it again and again. I almost gave up until this happened. So 
see that arrow? That is really interesting. I've never seen that before. I'm not sure if some shadows or the sun is causing that. Oh, there it is. There it is. Right there. Auto park ready. Oh, it, it registered. Okay, this is great. Okay, we're going to hit start. Okay, it's centering itself. Auto park in progress. So it will work. This is really cool. I've never seen this ever. Okay, now it's going to go in. It's going to hit. It's going to go over the lines. It's interesting. Why is it? It's actually going a little bit too close to that car. Now it's going <laughs> to It's centering itself. That is really interesting. Okay, there it went on the double sticky tape and almost damaged the line there because of that. Now backing up. Probably going to. Ooh. Okay, so it's going on the double sticky tape. It's probably going to muck up. Yeah, it's going to muck up my tires. Okay, so that's cool. It is working. It's actually doing it. So that is cool. It, it will work in a garage. So the tape is going to be uh, probably, it's probably going to tear now when I drive out of my driveway. I can hear it just, you know, gumming up with the tires. So I'm going to have to get out and fix the tape here. <laughs> we'll see here in the camera. I'll put it in reverse just so we can see. Yeah, the tape is totally destroyed. Unfortunately, it's probably all up in my tires now. Uh, that is really unfortunate. But uh, that it works going in reverse. That is exciting and great to see. I thought it might work. And I'm happy to see that it actually does. So what I'm going to do is get this tape off of my tires and then what i'm going to do is turn around so i'm facing forward and i'm going to have the car just go directly straight into my garage i'll show you this is a feature i believe that's available in the newer cars as well with the vision only my car has always had this feature available with the ultrasonic sensors again i'm driving a 2019 model 3 with hardware 3. all right sure enough there was a lot of tape stuck on my tires so i definitely had to get that off of there we're going to try this auto park feature. It's been a while since I've tested this. To my knowledge, this is available on all cars, including the newer ones. And I'm not sure with the button that you press on the newer cars, but if you have the drive stocks, I'll, I'll show you exactly how it works with those. So coming up here to my garage, what you do is, first of all, you get it in a spot that centers itself. Or if you're in a parking lot, you have the spaces straight forward. And you, I think you can go a maximum of 40 feet. We're gonna find out here. You go into the settings. You have to put it into park first. Go into autopilot settings. Go down to the customize summon button. And you can go, yeah, maximum 40 feet. You can specify the bumper clearance as well. And then what you do is you turn the continuous press setting off. So you say require continuous press. You turn that to no. You're going to get a warning message, so I'll show you here. Summon is a continuous press mode that requires you to press and hold the forward or reverse button in the Tesla mobile app to operate the feature. So the neat part is that you can get out of your car, and I'll show you that, and it will park itself. So I'll go ahead and say yes. I'm going to disable continuous press. There it was. <laughs> It took a while to find it. It is a double tap, but for some reason it wasn't working the first time. Double tap. There it is. Weird. Okay, so you might have to play with it a little bit. Interesting that didn't work. I'm going to cancel it. Just show you one more time here. So you put it into park and you double tap down. And you push right here on the right drive stock. You push twice. So here we go. One, two. That menu item shows up. I select the arrow. I'm going to say forward. And then I simply get out of my car. So we're going to come over here, open up the door. And then a minute I close it. The car's mirrors fold in. And you're going to see it starts going in. And it will park itself into your garage. This is really, really nice and convenient. Uh, and it's also nice if you're trying to get out of your garage in the morning, for example. The nice part is it will have, if you have Homelink built in, what it will do is it will actually activate Homelink to get out of your garage. And this is just the regular summon. But this auto park is kind of unique or a feature that a lot of people don't know about. So it's going to go forward all the way. It's getting stuck on that tape again and then stop itself and there you go you've parked your car so there you have it we've learned something today we can actually put lines in our garage and have the car park itself it only works going in reverse 
I'm very curious to learn how other cars operate. If you have the vision only car and you've tested this, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.